Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geis, John McTavish. How are you guys doing this evening? It's a good thing there won't be a show next year. All I can say <laughs> is that much. Nailed All right. It. So today we are talking about the Illusione <laughs> PCA 2020 exclusive. Uh, Cigar is, uh, I guess, a Robusto Extra 5.5 by 56. Comes out of the Tabs factory in Nicaragua. Wrappers uh, Ecuadorian Habano Claro. Binder is from Nicaragua. Filler is Nicaraguan Criollo 98 and Corojo 99. Uh, blended by Dion Giolito. Uh, price point is $9.95. So it was released in September of 2020. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Um, I thought it was pretty, like, unbalanced. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's one of those things where, like, you first like most cigars that you smoke right like the first couple of draws you're like oh, okay i know what's gonna be in for but when i smoked this and knowing how much i like you know a lot of what dion does uh i thought it was a i thought it was a complete miss um you know hoping that it would get better as the cigar went through but it was still the same like very unbalanced got a lot of like charred red peppers uh dry cedar um it was relatively strong it's like medium plus strong uh medium body but it was just not even it was uneventful it was not balanced um there was no like finesse to it that i typically expect with a lot of the you know illusioni dion blended stuff um it was a uh it was a it was a letdown I haven't said that for illusioni new release for a very long time i don't think i ever said that actually uh until now so all right, Seth, what were your overall thoughts? Well, unlike June, when I lit it up, I knew exactly what we were getting ourselves into <laughs> from from where it went. This was this listen, this was a miss. Um, really poor flavor profile. Um, I was getting some, you know, wood, barnyard, spice, earth coffee. Um, just it, it didn't go anywhere. Um, it, it sounds like there's some complexity to it. There really wasn't. I think I was being generous with the amount of descriptive words i used um you know it, it kind of remained the same throughout the second third showed a little bit of a perk i got some ready notes but then it just went away um yeah terrible construction just burned wavy throughout the whole thing uh it was a mess medium medium body strength all right john what were your thoughts yeah this is a mess for me too um the weird thing is that I think I had the best first third of anybody. Um, so go figure. It started out really interesting with bread and hay and sort of the traditional Lugione combination of, you know, bread, biscuity, baking spices. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is, you know, a good uh, PCA release. And then um, just fell right off a cliff after that. Uh, like Seth was saying, you know, the second third was just kind of bread, a little bit of dry wood. Um, but all the all the flavor components there were just kind of, really light and they didn't come together in an interesting way. And then tannins kind of took over. Um, and then that got worse in the last third where it was just really wood forward. And, and, um, I think largely because the struggles is having with the burn, it, it became really toasted like that char flavor. And it's just, it's really hard for a cigar to recover from that. Um, so construction wise, the draw was perfect, which is weird because the burn was brutal um started out straight and then immediately started to become wavy and is one of those cigars where it went out in the second third and from that point on you could tell the cigar was just fighting me every step of the way and just wanted to go out um and you know i want to smoke a cigar for enjoyment um a review is part of that but to sit there and babysit a cigar to try and keep it lit is just you know it's really distracting and ruins the ruins the overall experience for me aaron what was your experience like yeah, for me, the uh, flavor profile was a bit muddled throughout. Um, the first inch or so was good, but then it just became, became average as the baking spice less, and the profile was just kind of a toasted cedar wood and uh, mustiness. Um, as you guys have all already hit on, the burn was, uh, you know, uh, just put a damper on the cigar. Um, I had smoked one of these in a non-review setting. Uh, didn't experience that bad of a burn, but the flavor profile wasn't all that impressive at that point either. Um, so I, was, I put in my re review that I was very interested to see what your guys' experience was because this was just not what I've come to expect from the brand. Um, so I'm not in a hurry to revisit this. Um, you know, it's kind of a shame based on the brand um, and that the cigar is supposed to be an exclusive for the organization that it's meant to support. And, um, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, there's the TAA 
And then now these PCA exclusive series is going to be like, is that going to be like, hold my beer while I attempt to make the TAA look good? Um, but yeah, it's uh, no, it was more of a hey, TA, you want to watch us make a shittier cigar? Yeah. Watch, hold my beer. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant when I said hold my beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's get into the scores. We're gonna start at the top. Uh, we have a tie at the top. June and John both gave it a 5.45. <laughs> um, I was next at 4.28, Seth gave it a 3.93. So, uh, June, how'd that 5.45 match up for you? It's, it's a disgrace for something that DL made and came out of taps us. So uh it's it's probably i mean i don't know what i score all the other new release uh illusion stuff that we've smoked throughout the years but uh I, I can certainly say this is the lowest by probably a long shot um and and my tasting experience shows that it's just through and through a disappointing uh, experience um i i don't know that uh I can't say that Tabs has necessarily been scoring better than this for me, but uh, this is a pretty shocking score for an Illusione. Um, You know, I'd say this is certainly the lowest score this year for them by far. And historically, I mean, I, I want to say it's like a half a point lower than the lowest score they've ever had with me. So um, pretty, pretty disappointing performance. Yeah, my 4.28 matches up well. I mean, it's a below average flavor profile. Um, and then construction was just no good. Um, it was just a horrible burn. So it uh, just knocks it down below the five mark. Um, all right, Seth, 3.93. I think when Scott Pierce spoke to the media in 2018 after the announcement of PCA and the changes to come, that would score higher than this cigar did. <laughs> and that was pretty bad. So this is, t- I mean, this is just terrible. And if, if you bought them and you're a PCA you know, member, Good for you for supporting PCA and Illusione, but I'm sorry this shit's gonna sit on your shelf. I mean, it's just no no one's I already know retailers are saying no one wants to buy these. They're terrible. It's awful. I'm not surprised though. It's fitting for the year tops ahead. It's fitting for I don't know, the decade PCAs fail to have, and it's a shame for Dion. Would you say it's a turd sandwich? Depends on the bread, man. I don't think this one's got the bread. <laughs> All right, final thoughts from you guys on this? So here's a question for you guys. And yeah. we, we already know that, uh, what is it, uh, like half wheel, well, specifically Brooks scored it very highly. That did he review it? And panel, did he yeah, review? he gave it like a 92, I think, right? Yeah. Um, and then you have that YouTube channel, <laughs> what is it, Casa YouTube. Fumando or whatever? Yeah, it's not they, YouTube, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a website. It's a oh, website, my bad. but but he doesn't doesn't Tony review it with a beverage when yes. he reviews? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I mean, if oh. you gave if you gave me a really good stout, the fuck? I'm sh- I'm sure that my review of this illusion right. would have been pretty good as well. I should have never mentioned that website then. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, uh, well, I'm curious, like especially the way Halffield does it, right? Because if it scores like a certain ninety or less, ninety one, ninety one or above, the rest of the team will smoke it, and then they'll see how it ranks. Exactly, and we won't know that until their year-end list comes out, right? Yeah. We may not even know. And that will that list will come out before this review publishes. So we're gonna we won't you know we're kind of looking like we're gonna be dumb because we'll. So yeah, we're gonna know before these people even know. Man, this is like Tenet, man, like the movie I've been watching. <laughs> this is like the fucking butterfly effect. <laughs> Whoa, Seth, Seth on the blue team. <laughs> dude i um, couldn't i couldn't yeah yeah but like I, I don't get it man like what is sometimes we have our fellow media guys that we know and some of that we don't know but when they score some shit really high and we clearly as the four of us completely disagree with i'm like what what are you smoking it's either you know that I mean? like completely different palettes or the cigar the variation from cigar to cigar are so is so wide yeah and the batches are very poorly QC'd. Which is mm. obviously a really, really bad thing. If you can get a cigar that ranges from, you know, really, really poor scoring on, on our end and then really high scoring on somebody else's end, that's not good. And Scott Pierce bribed us with these cigars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for what is worth, this these cigars we smoked all came from the same bundle yeah. that we purchased. Yeah. Yeah. So. We hope. So it's consistently not good? <laughs> it's I, mean, that, not good. I guess we could say it's consistent. Yeah. It's true. Sorry, Dion. Love you a lot for all the shit you do, but man, this was this fucking sucked. 
Yeah, are we I'll definitely. Though I'll... Are, are we surprised? And this is an oh, insult. No. Yeah. Why this you... is an insult on on I, Dion. Are, I, are, we, are we surprised? I think. I'm surprised. I think D- yeah, I think Dion yeah. could fall into a bale of tobacco and still come up with something serviceable. <laughs> Why are you not surprised, Seth? He does. No. You... Seth doesn't like the Ecuadorian Habano. No, I'm not. I, I love that, Ecuadorian I Habano. Why was, you got to be like that? I think there were. <laughs> Listen, it's we're smart enough to know that. <clears throat> PCA wants to do something. You want to do something to keep it right. Hey, man, what can we do? Oh, you know, someone probably talked about the cigar preve line or something like that. And he's like, oh, man, we'll just take some of the second tobacco and then we'll just add some Ecuadorian Habano wrapper on it. And then, boom, there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, you make, it makes it such make some masterful make, blitters. <laughs> make, make some money. Make some money off of it. I mean, it's such a it's such a bad year. It's a great year to release something like this, dude. Best 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 year of cigars ever. Yeah, sorry. Best listen, best year ever. No, I mean, I guess in line There's with factory issues, we feel bad. We're going to make a better one next year, and then PC is not going to be around the next year, so you get out of it. So yeah. boom, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess to the extent of knowing most of the types of stuff that we that we reviewed this year has We've been, been a letdown. Out. Yeah, this is. This is not surprising to that extent, right? Yeah. If if you think about like everything that was like meant to be for their brand, like those Agonors releases, that was their name on it and it was a fail. You know, some of the foundation stuff, it was their name on it. It's a fail. Some of Dion's stuff, it's his name on it. It's a fail. This has got PCA's name on it. So they're like, who gives a shit? Supreme Leaf is all right. (laughs) Yeah. For the first third, it was pretty good. (laughs) All right, all right, if you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us while well check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Screw the romance. <laughs> <laughs>